Hello there, Cancers. I feel like for the next two weeks, it's a really good time for you to kind of slow down, step back and take stock of what you have in terms of financial resources. Okay. And then thinking about long term where you're headed and what you're hoping to achieve. Because I feel like some of you, um, I'm seeing like two sets of people. The first one is you're in a position of power, right? Like you, you might be like a financier. Um, you might have a lot of, um, a lot of people coming to you and telling you, do you want to do get involved in this project or they're pitching an idea to you so that you can get involved with them. Okay. And then I see other groups of Cancerian people either going to a financial institution or a specific person like a financier or a, an authority figure and pitching something, something to them. And you're telling them like, Hey, I need like this much, you know, in, in money, or I need this much in, inv in investment. I need this much in startup capital in order for me to fund this project. So I feel like, you know, it can go one of two ways. Like you're the one making the decision to decide on whom to invest or deciding on which project to invest, or you're on the other end where you're soliciting investment funds, you're in, in uh, soliciting like um, somebody for a loan. And either way, it's basically telling you realistically to have a very log logical and a very, um, you know, like, I guess, practical time frame. You want to really lay out, okay, so here's what I'm gonna do for the next month. Here's when the financial resources will be, you know, recouped and here's how long it's going to take me to, you know, pay back the loan. So I feel that you want to be as clear, as clean cut, as linear in your time, uh, time frame projection as you, you can be. Okay. Because I feel like this is something that your, your word might tell other people. Here's what I am projecting it to look like. And if you're off the mark, it's not going to reflect um, well on your credibility in the future, right? So I feel that you have some heavy legwork that you need to do in terms of like setting out some solid um, time frame, either for work or time frame, either for your own personal, you know, whatever it is. Okay. So time frame for house repairs, time frame for getting things done. So you need to be as realistic as you can and to, you know, err on the side of caution. So that means you might need to extend the time frame a little bit further. That way you can, if uh, snags, if there are snags along the road, if there are problems, then at least you have a little bit of buffer for that time frame. Does that make sense? So I feel like there is stringent planning that is necessary for many of you. Um, I feel like there's a job coming through for those of you who have been working. And I feel like you're dealing with um, an interviewer or a boss or a supervisor in the new job that is a little bit more, you know, practical, cerebral, um, very, very uh, uh, like a, a stickler for rules. So I feel like the environment is very structured. You might say it's a little bit rigid, but I feel that it's a very functional, you know, like a work environment where things are done very well there's high productivity. So I feel that it's going to be different from wherever you were working before. If you had like a lot more creative, um, if they, they gave you a lot of creative allowances to do, you know, whatever it is that you want. If no one is really watching over your back, if you can come and go as you want, if you have a lot of leeway in the previous work environment, the new work environment is very rigid. It seems to me like they recruited a bunch of new talent, and so they're changing things from the top down. And so I feel like there's a lot of room to grow in this new work environment. The starting out salary might be a little bit less than what you're used to, but I feel that this is a really good environment to be in because whoever you're working with, as long as you do your job, this person is a stickler for rules. As long as you do your job, as long as you work hard, they will, um, you know, they, they will advocate for you. Okay. So you're dealing with somebody who wants you to, who wants to reward people who work hard. So as long as you can do that, things will be good. So there's a really good 
connection here between you and who, whoever is interviewing you or whoever is going to be your immediate supervisor in the new work environment. And so it's really important for you to emphasize your productivity, emphasize how you're able to streamline work processes, how you're able to enhance and increase efficiency, okay? And they're gonna ask you follow-up questions, so you know, uh, needless to say, don't fib on interviews, but I feel that emphasizing these things will make you a, uh, a really standout candidate, okay? So you have some good things, Cancer. I wish you the best, and I'll be back next month, okay? Take care of yourself, bye-bye.